Welcome to another episode of Defying the Odds of Pacific Northwest Gardening. Today we're going to talk about canning tuna. You know, there's nothing better than canned tuna, fresh canned tuna, and once you've had it, you will never want to eat canned tuna from a store again. I, I can't eat it. It tastes like cat food. You know, we're lucky here in Washington State because we have so much tuna around us. Here's Westport. You're looking at downtown Westport. We go here every year. August is a really good time to go. You go to the city of Westport and you go down to where the boats are, go to Slip 3, we go to the Hustler, and you can buy tuna, salmon, you name it, right off the boat. Here's a picture of a guy there weighing the tuna for us. You can buy it filleted or unfilleted. If you buy it unfilleted, bring an ice, well, bring an ice chest either way. They'll pack it with ice. You can take it home and fly it, or you can have them fly it. We used to have, we used to do it ourselves, but I'm too old now. I just have them do it. When you get at home, you got to take your fillets and you got to cut the bloodline out of it. Here's a picture of the bloodline, and here's another one. That doesn't can well. It doesn't taste good. So you got to cut that out with a knife. Just follow the knife behind it like you're filleting a fish. This is a photo of it once it's done. From there, you want to cut your fillet into into sections. It'll fit in a little half pint jar. And you go ahead and you fit them into the half pint jar. Add a little bit of olive oil if you want, a little bit of water, but leave an inch of head space. Finally, when you're done, before you can wipe around the edge so you can get the little clingies off, you can see one that has a little bit on the edge there. You want to get that off with a paper towel. Then you want to put it in your canner. Put it in your canner, get your canner going, vent all the steam. Run your canner at 10 pounds of pressure. You're going to want to run it for 95 minutes minimum, which is about what I do. 95 minutes at 10 pounds. When you're done, let the canner cool off, take your jars out, and boom. You got canned tuna that you can enjoy all year long, and it's wonderful. And the upside is, if you do fly it yourself, you can take the guts and the heads and put it in your garden. The tomatoes love it. If you buy it filleted, take a garbage can up there and they'll fill it up. They'll give you all the guts you want. Bring it home, put it in your garden. You'll have great tomatoes next year. Thanks again for following us on YouTube or on Twitter or on our website, www.colemangreenhouse.com.